Today I want to show you quickly how to get rid of some of the AT&T stock apps that come um, on the stock ROM, the new Jelly Bean 4.1.2 for the Galaxy Note. Um, it really is incredible how much junk they put on here. Um, I'll go into my apps list and you can see here I've already deleted a bunch of those. And it's what I wanted to show you today is how to de-bloat, how to get rid of some of that junk. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you are rooted first. Um, if you don't know how to root your phone, I've already made a video about how to root it. It's it's in my how to how to install the update. Um, and if you just want to know how to root, you can just go to the end part of that video, or actually you're gonna to have to watch through because you're gonna to have to see what you need to download. But uh, you need to have your phone rooted first. So. Um, once you have your phone rooted, it's fairly simple to be able to get rid of, of this junk, okay? Um, like I left a few on here just as uh, just for illustration, this crown physics. I mean, I've got kids and they might like to play on that, but I don't let my kids play on my phone. Um, so I want to get rid of that. Um, and uh, basically I've gotten rid of everything else, I think. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this mobile hotspot here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, make sure you're rooted, and I'm going to go to the Play Store. There's several apps you can download to do this. This is the best one, Titanium Backup. Uh, this is just a good program. This is the free version. You can get a, um, a pro version that lets you, uh, well, it does all kinds of stuff, but it backs up apps, and um, it does some other things. So I've already downloaded this, Titanium Backup. You can see there it says root. You have to have root access for this uh, app to work. Okay, so if I just open this up, it's going to say down here it's uh, been granted user, uh, been been granted root uh, permission. Okay, one thing I forgot. This is one thing you need to make sure to do if you're going to use Titanium is go over here to developer options. Make sure you turn developer options on. You want that set to on. And then you want to set US debugging. You want to turn that on for this to work. Also, uh, I think it's in security. Yeah, under security, also make sure that you click unknown sources. Um, I don't guess you need that necessarily for this, but it's good to go ahead and un un to go ahead and check that so that you can um, install other apps to it that don't come from from the Play Store necessarily. Okay, so back over to Titanium. Uh, from here, it's real simple. Make sure you got root. Make sure you have US debugging checked. And then it's what I'm going to do now is um, go to backup and restore there up at the top, that middle tab. And I'm going to go find that app, that Crown Physics that I don't want on my phone. Uh, there it is. Okay, I don't want that thing. So I click on it and I click uninstall. Warning you have no backup. Yeah, I don't care. I don't want it. So do I want to uninstall it? Yes. This will uninstall the system package, crownphysics.apk. Yep, uninstall it. And Uninstall complete for Crown Physics 1.0. So you can get rid of some of those system apps, some of that junk. I don't, I don't remember how many apps I deleted yesterday. Um, I, it was, it's ridiculous. I probably deleted a dozen apps or so. That's just AT&T this, AT&T that, uh, AT&T navigation, all that kind of junk. Why? I mean, why do I get a Google phone? If I'm going to use AT&T's crappy navigation, I'm going to use Google's navigation. I mean, that's that's what they do. They make good navigation stuff and good maps. That's why I get this phone, not for AT&T's version of it. So anyways, there's a quick way for you to be able to de-bloat, get rid of some of that bloatware that, uh, that AT&T puts onto our phones. Thanks for watching today.